oxygen and nitrogen and rhenium and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, latinium, vanadium, and lanthanum and osmium and acetine and radium and gold protecting and indium and gallium. <gasps> and iodine and thorium and thorium and thorium. <laughs> There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuthium, and lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's holium, and helium, and hafnium, and erbium, and phosphorus, francium, and fluorium, and turbinium, and manganese, and mercury, and molybdenum, and magnesium, dysprosium, and scandium, and cerium, and cesium, and lead, praseodymium, platinum, and plutonium, palladium, polythium, potassium, polonium, tantalum, tellurium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium, and calcium, and chromium, and curium. There's sulfur, California, and fermium, bergelium, and also and delivium, einsteinium, and nobelium, and argon, and chromium, and and zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, and sodium. These are the only ones of which humans has come to Harvard. And there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. Dun, 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 dun. Let me give this a try. So long, Mom, I'm off to drop the bomb, so don't wait up for me. But while you swelter down there in your shelter, you can see me on your TV. And I, I go blank. Isn't that great? Nice going. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> First you get down on your knees, fiddle with your rosaries, bow your head in great respect and genuflect, 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 do whatever steps you want if you have cleared it with the pontiff, everybody says on Kyrie lays on do the Vatican rag, get in line in that processional, step into that small confessional, they're the guy who's got religion, tell you if your sin's original, if it is, try playing it safer, drink the wine and chew the wafer, two, four, Six, eight, time to transubstantiate. So get down upon your knees, fiddle with your rosaries, bow your head in great respect, and genuflect, genuflect, genuflect. Uh, well, well, make a cross on your abdomen. When in Rome, do like a Roman. Ave Maria, cheese, good to see you. Getting ecstatic and sort of dramatic and doing the Vatican rag. Da 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 da. David and T. Allen Schaefer. Thank you, folks. Good evening and welcome to the Farpoint 2011 Masquerade. I'd like to uh, point out that there is to be no heckling, no smoking, no fan photography or video, no laser pointers. Our official Photographer is Sandy Zier Tietler. Where are you? Raise your hand. Right here. Also, there is a photo, fan photo stage located in the atrium where the contestants will be force marched after they get out of here. <laughs> Anyone who will, uh, who wants to mess with any of these rules, will of course 
have to face the Far Point Masquerade Ninjas. <laughs> Taller and skinnier for 2011. And, and wearing pants in case he has to hide in a toy box. <laughs> Tonight's uh, halftime, we will have a charity auction uh, by Marty Gear, uh, Insane Ian Bonds, and Jonah Knight. Also, I need to announce that uh, the, Balt uh, the Balticon 44 Young Writers Contest uh, is going to be accepting submissions. Uh, if for additional information, check the Balticon website. Tonight's, or what, or talk to Marty. Raise your hand, Marty. There he is. Tonight's categories are fantasy, recreation uniforms, science fiction, and Champions Cup. In addition, uh, there will be workmanship awards, as well as special awards. There will be a Ninja's Choice Award, <laughs> the Robbie Greenberger Originality Award, Best Recreation, Most Humorous, Best Presentation, and Best in Show. And now, let's introduce our judges. First of all, our judges clerk, Steve Lesnick. Workmanship Judge, Brian Sarsinelli. <laughs> Personal friend of mine, Bob Greenberger. <laughs> Not a personal friend of mine, Mike Friedman. <laughs> but a friend of mine. Bonita Friderici. <laughs> and last but by no means least, Tomo Peniquet. <laughs> and while they're finding their chairs. Well, that could have been nasty. That would have left a mark. More water. And if we are ready, entry number one in the young fan category. Before she was a blind seeress, before she was an immortal, Teresa was only a child. <laughs> Emily Holmgren, Teresa. <clears throat> Who put water in this? Entry 1A in the young fan category. That's right, 1A. To prove that nepotism is not dead, Cove Wingfield is Baby Yoda. Yes, this is the masquerade director's grandson. <laughs> Time for Baby Yoda to go to bed. Pandering at its finest. <laughs> Entry number two in the young fan category. Kieran is here to protect Farpoint from a fierce dragon.
Kieran and Tommy Lynch, a knight, and a really fierce dragon. Jeez, Dad. It's just a ninja. It's not like he can hurt you. <laughs> Tommy. Kieran and Tommy Lynch, a knight and a fierce dragon. <laughs> Entry number three in the young fan category. Ever wonder why Rory stopped wearing the Roman centurion's uniform after so many centuries guarding the Pandorica? Perhaps he got a little too close to young Amelia Pond. Isabella Sabigtura, young Amelia Pond. All right, I've got to change my Facebook status to amused as hell. All right. <laughs> Entry number four in the young fan category. Aaron Jarvis, where no man has gone before. <laughs> Aaron Jarvis, where no man has gone before. Glad he fired the phasers. The photon torpedoes would have blown his knees right off. <laughs> Entry five in the young fan category. It's not what you think. Music. Banana, 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 banana,
Rebecca Corn. Rebecca Corn as Hug Girl. <laughs> and the adults have their work cut out for them tonight. <laughs> Entry number six in the young fan category. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> Ben 10, here's the villainous Charmcaster. In her arms is the biotech alien Ship, and trust us, she doesn't take shit from anybody. Caroline David, do you believe in magic? I am the sun and the Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our young fan category tonight. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> Judges are going to quickly tally those votes. That's a hint. So I wish I didn't bring a story tonight. I'm sorry. Make one up. All right. I've got one that, excuse me, somebody's poking my butt. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Thing. Pull the mic up towards your mouth. How's that? Better? Thank you. Was that a laugh? I'm not sure what that was. Do I have time to do a story, guys? No? No, okay. No, I'm not going to do a limerick. Because the only ones I know aren't fit for mixed company here. A haiku? I got nowhere to go. <laughs> what was that? I almost broke my glass up here. To present the awards for our young fans, I'd like to invite uh, Benita Friedrici up to our stage. All right, first, most visual seer, Emily Holmgren as Teresa. Uh, 
the the Baby Got Bad Ears Award to Cole Wingfield as Baby Yoda. put the baby in the bag. <laughs> oh. Stand up. Don't forget the bag, oh baby. Greatest Defenders of Fans, Kieran and Tommy Lynch, Arthur and the Dragon. Mistress of Time and Space, Isabella Sabigtaroff, Young Amelia Pond. Oldest outfit, Aaron Jarvis, where no man has gone before. Cuddliest thug, Rebecca Corn. It's not what you think. And shiftiest heroine, Caroline David, do you believe in magic? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one last time for all of tonight's young fan contestants. Entry number seven in the Champions Cup category. After Nero's failed attack on Earth, Gala decides to leave the Academy 
and head home to Orion, back to the family business. from Orion. Run! Baby ball! Entry number eight in the science fiction category. All I've got to do is run down the stairs and you're screwed. <laughs> First Watson wins Jeopardy and now this. What next? Jessica Harris, human Dalek. <clears throat> Entry nine. In the science fiction category, Art Borman, Jedi Master Plo Koon. Borman, Jedi Master Plo Koon. <clears throat> Entry number 10 in the fantasy category. Allie Olson, 23rd century thriller. Jim. <laughs> Allie Olson, 23rd century thriller. Yeah, well, your name's not on here. So if it's not on here, maybe you're not. <laughs> Entry number 11 in the Champions Cup category. Oh yeah, because the goggles totally make it steampunk. <laughs> Joe Wilson, Carrie Abend, and Don Cowings Felux. It's all about the goggles. Entry 12 
in the recreation uniforms category. Join the clandestine society, they said. Protect national security, they said. Frying hot dogs is not what I had in mind. Cora Bache, Sarah Walker from Chuck. Entry 13 in the science fiction category. Pirate flags are cool. <laughs> Pirate flags are cool? Wait, no they're not. Ninjas! Doctor, a bit despondent. <clears throat> Entry 14 in the Champions Cup category. Please welcome the big, the B-wing pilot. Fresh from his appearance in Return of the Jedi, frames 14,261 through 14,268, when he met his untimely end at the hands of the Lucasfilm KL-1000 editing machine. Thomas Atkinson, B-Wing pilot. Entry 15 is a scratch, judges. Entry 15 is a scratch. There is no entry 15. 15 is right out. <laughs> However, there is an entry 16. Entry 16 in the fantasy category. Luna Lovegood never knows what kind of creatures she will see when she puts on her specter specs. <laughs> Allison Fry, Luna Lovegood. Entry 17 in the Champions Cup category. You've seen all kinds of Green Lanterns, including a chipmunk. But the feline members of the Corps present a special problem that make them a liability in a fight. Ariel David, Why Cats Make Lousy Green Lanterns. Entry 18 in the science fiction category. A stormtrooper and bounty hunter capture one of the Empire's 10 most wanted.
Kelly Hendley, Larry Paterka, and Rob Spencer, Tatooine. I shall wait. Yeah, it figures to be the Yankees fan. Yes, you do. If you were also a Steelers fan, we'd have to kick you out. Ready? Okay. Entry 19 in the fantasy category. Brienne and Evan Blackney, Katara and the Blue Spirit from Avatar The Last Airbender. Entry number 20 in the site, hold. I'll hold. <laughs> tell, tell a story? Go. Okay. Entry 20 in the science fiction category. Like two pockets, the demon body bag zip the rubber, the demon buckler, the one who got demons and beans on his plate to suffer. I'll be the nuttiest one in the whole clan with Mac Tan, Switch Blades, and Bibles. Ensign, yes, not, not so expendable. That was Frank Hernandez, Gina Hernandez, Sally Arculari, Brad Graper, James McGinnis, and Tom Heaney. Entry 21 in the Champions Cup category. Everyone is a supermodel playing killer Wolfgang. 
occurred programs are the physical manifestation of their users. You should have things like World of Warcraft, Farmville, Twitter, Texas Hold'em Poker, and Internet is for Internet is for Internet is for Internet is for Barn! Rachel Wyman, Susan Donor, Dwight Gibbs, Michael O'Brien, and Dana Stewart, Tron Reality. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the entries for tonight's masquerade. Now the judges are going to go backstage and have a few stiff ones, I mean, um, <laughs> deliberate on, the, on tonight's uh, entries. Uh, let's see. Nathan Shell and Jessica Harris. Somewhere? Anywhere? Oh, here they are. Of commissioned credentials, would like to take a moment to discuss a local children's charity. I get confused easily, I know, that's the mic. All right. Hi everyone, excuse my voice. Sorry. All right, we're here to talk to you about a local charity called Scares the Care. It's a charity raising money for children's charity because it's sad when we get sick, but it's tragic when a child gets sick. Every year they raise $10,000 for uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, I think it's uh, local, it's children's charities. Yeah. And this year's charity is the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And to commemorate our first year in business, we're doing a raffle where all the donations uh, actually will go towards the charity Scares the Care, which then will go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And to uh, sweeten the pot, so to speak, a little bit, I've donated a couple different full card sets so that people can choose from. For those of you who don't know what we do, uh, we do novelty IDs for t uh, from TV and movies. We also do uh, custom IDs for people and for businesses. And we're located in the dealer's room all the way in the end on the far left. Uh, we're gonna have tickets available for the rest of the night and up until one o'clock tomorrow afternoon, which is when we'll be doing the drawing for the prize. So, uh, anything else you think of? Uh, we'll be selling tickets during the 10 Ford. If you see us tonight, let's look for the Dalek, look for Jack Harkness, and also tomorrow morning up until about 12.45 yeah. in the dealer room. So if you see us and you want to help, it's $1 a ticket or six tickets for $5. All right, well, thank you for the time. Thanks for letting us talk. Okay, you got a taste of the charity auction last night. We have a number of items that we're going to auction off tonight, including, I might add, lunch with Bonita, who has to be one of the most charming individuals that I have met in the last year. Breakfast now? Okay. In any event, it is a meal with Bonita and to even sweeten the pot, the hotel will pay for it. Do we have a <laughs> great hotel or not? So, 
I'm not anticipating that we're going to match last year's charity auction funds, but we have a few things that we'd like to auction tonight, so reach down, grab your wallets. Remember, we take cash, credit card, PayPal. Mm, we need to see the firstborn. Got me covered. Is this thing working? All right. We'll do it off the microphone. Better? No. It's sort of working, all right. Sort of working. Can you do it? Yeah, we do. Okay. Ariel, hold it up. That's better. Testing what? There we go. Okay. Now we have. <laughs> You're right. It doesn't love me. So I'll do it from here, and we'll let Ariel show the items. Our first item is. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. First item is an autographed t-shirt. Well, it's autographed by five of the nine cast members for Deep Space Nine. Opening bid is 20. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a Voyager shirt, but it's even, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, we have a Voyager shirt signed by five of the nine cast members. No, five of nine. <laughs> Opening bid is $20. Do I hear 21? I have $21 looking for 22. $25 looking for 27. $30 looking for 35. $35 looking for 40. $37 looking for 40. $40 looking for 42. <laughs> I have $40 once. $40 twice. $40 three times. Sold $40 to whom? No. No, because they're going to have to go to registration and pay for it ASAP. So, name and $40. All right, our next item is... It is a Star Wars R2-D2 3D puzzle with sound. Now, and I mean, when you assemble this jigsaw puzzle, it will be 3D, it will have sound. 
The minimum bid was $10. Bidder number B56 has it up to $17. We have $17 looking for $20. It's, I, I hear $20 over here. Do I hear $22? I have $22. I have $20, sorry. $20. I have $25. $25 looking for $30. I have $30 looking for $35. I have $40. I have $40 looking for $45. I have $40. It'll take $42. I have $40 once. I have $40 twice. I have $40 three times. Sold for All right, we have a set of Star Wars Micro Machine Limited Star Trek. It's not nice to heckle the MC. <laughs> All right, let us start with the Star Trek Micro Miniatures Limited Edition. The minimum bid was a dollar. It was one dollar. Sorry, bitter. B-52 has already bid $5. I have $10. I have $10 looking for 12. I have $12 looking for 15. I have $15 looking for 20. $16. $17. Do I hear 20? I hear $20 over here. 20 looking for 25. I have $20, 22, 25. I have $25 looking for 150. No harm in asking. We have $25. I have $25 once, $25 twice, $25 three times. Sold for $25. Thank you. Yes. As a costumer and a makeup artist, I have to say, this is a heck of a charity auction item. Star Trek DS9 Ferengi Headpiece Kit. Complete prosthetic kit. You want to get started doing serious makeup. This is it. And opening bid price is $10. $10 looking for $12. $15, thank you. I have $15 looking for $17. I have $15. Nobody wants to get into prosthetic makeup. $17. I have $17 looking for $20. I have $20. $20 looking for $25. $25 looking for $30. 
I have $25 once, $25 twice, three times $25 sold for $25. How many of you saw Jonah Knight last night at the banquet? And how many of you went to Jonah's concert this afternoon? How many of you would like to have Jonah do a house concert at your house? Seriously. Jonah has donated a house concert. Now, normally he gets anywhere from $10 to $15 per person. This is totally free for you, party of your choice. You must be within the greater Washington, Northern Virginia um, area. He's not going to go to New York for you or Connecticut. Sorry about that. Yes. Uh, he can go to the, if he's got a receipt from registration, he can come get it right here. Okay. Yes. That's fine. Thank you. This, uh, yeah, you're good. Okay. What am I bid for a house concert by Jonah Knight? What's an opening bid? Nobody throws parties, nobody wants entertainment. Talented Filker. Oh, shame on you. Well, we tried. Hey. Now look at that face. No, 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 come back here, come back here. Look at that face. Yeah. Listen to those guitar chords. <laughs> Think of strange, interesting music.